Hello Virgos, welcome back. This is your weekly reading for January 14th through 20th. So let's jump right in. Spirit, Guardian Angel, Divine Energy, Universal Energy, what do you have for Virgo? What would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of during this time? Please only allow truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within the space as above, so below. So Virgos, I still do the free reading every month. I'm going to remind you all at least once a month. So you can enter. You can enter as much as you want, just once a month, actually. Tell your family and friends it is free. So let's see what we got here for you, Virgos. You're trying to change the direction of something. I want to say that you're in a nurturing mood. Um, you want to invest some time and energy into growing something that is being presented to you. Okay, I feel like it's in your grasp. It's interesting because I feel like you're following your intuition about things or what it is that you want, your desires, trying to sift through them and figure out where your direction is or where, which way you want to go. Two of Cups talks about a love offer. Ooh, you feel like a winner this week. Um, you're coming back into something. Something's coming back to you. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Um, I feel like you're getting attention from others this week. As far as being attractive. I'm getting that feeling. People are being attracted to you. And it has to do with your confidence. So either you're walking back into something or something's walking back into you, okay? There was a relationship I feel like you got over and you moved past. You were focusing more on yourself and you've done a good job. I feel like you've mastered those things about yourself and you feel comfortable like you're going in a good direction. And you have accepted or you're thinking about accepting an offer from someone. That's going to come in during the week. It may not be in the beginning, okay? But you're thinking of how it was in the past. You weren't compatible. Could have been a three-party relationship, but you did really have fun with this person, okay? I feel like there's going to be an apology and a comeback. But if you feel like this person may still be childish. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces is really strong here. You don't want any misfortunes. You don't want to not see something coming. So you're definitely taking control of what's going on and what you allow to enter in. Um, this person could come in and out or they could be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is something they need to get over. They may have taken control over this situation and that's why they're moving forward. So with you, you're trying to decide if this is the best route for you. Even though you really want to do it. You really want to go this route, Virgo. You're afraid of them not seeing the same thing you want. And walking away again. And being unnurtured where you, didn't, you have already resolved this situation or fixed it. And this is a, a weakness of yours. Right? This is something that... It's like you've built your confidence and you don't want it tore down again. Yeah. There's so much potential here, though, but you don't want to overdo the idea of it. Okay? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius may be getting very frustrated with you because you're not doing what they want. They may be turning into a little bit aggressive as well. I feel like if you take your time with that person, you'll start to see that. 
and that's what you're doing you're gaining perspective of what's going on right so you're stepping back and you're seeing what they're presenting to you which is very smart um so you can get the clarity that you want you're not going to let your emotions take control over you even though this person is very emotional about you very interesting okay um if you're dealing with a cancer scorpio or pisces i feel like they have a they think they have a really good understanding or grasp but they really don't of their emotions and they get agitated really quickly you're perceiving that if you're dealing with a gemini libra and aquarius it's almost like mm, it's almost like they're trying to make it your problem very interesting they're trying to perceive what you want and use that against you. Well, not against you, but to get you to go their way. Okay, but you have to use your own understanding here. So this is about your confidence. You have a new level of confidence, Virgo. You've been working on it for a while. And you're very communicative about what it is that you want, even though it may seem like you're not making a decision. Okay. You know that you want 100% to be happy and nothing less. All right. You don't want anything treacherous to happen to you when you've done, you know, enough to grow yourself and become stronger. Right. So you're not going to be as moldable as you used to or as yielding. You're doing things in a different way. Okay. You want commitment. Um, you want something stable. You want something real. And you've had this epiphany and you've transformed your mind for this. You're not going to be in anything that is risky or that is moving too fast. You're not going to do that. I do see an imbalance here. Two people going in two different directions. Okay. You don't want to be single forever, but you do like the attention that you're getting, which is okay. Be careful of people trying to be deceiving to you. Don't get confused by pretty things or by pretty promises. Okay, stay in that that mode where you're watching. You're watching and gaining a new perspective of this person. Don't just think, I really like this person and we have a connection. So that means we're going to be together. No, you know, you have to watch and see how they do things and what they do. All right. Epiphany. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So keep your eyes open. That's what I've been talking about. Okay. You do have a lot of suitors. You have people coming back into your life. Okay. And this is about seeing both sides. Okay. You, you be, you can be nice to a person, be friends with them. It doesn't mean that you have to jump in to anything. Okay. So make sure that you're getting a well-rounded perspective because the hangman has come up quite a bit in this reading. Okay. So let's go into your love life. Let's get some Oracle cards for your love life. There it goes. Love yourself first. Remember you have gained a sort of confidence about yourself and that's what's driving you. It has driven you where you are now and it has given you things to make you feel full and nurtured and cared for. You know, you're in a supportive position for yourself and you don't want to lose that in someone else. Passion. It's okay to involve yourself in the feelings of passion, but don't let it overthrow your mind or your decisions. Deception. Be careful about people being deceiving. Okay. Be careful of people saying what they think that you want to hear. Okay. Keep yourself open. Enjoy. Enjoy this though. That's why the six of wands comes up. It's for you to enjoy that moment. Enjoy that recognition. Okay. But also be aware that on the flip side of that, there's a disappointment um, because it can flip, you know, people's perception, um, the multitude can change. All right. So thank you so much for listening and I will see you next week for more self-discovery, love and light to you. Bye-bye.